medium density fiberboard, commonly known as MDF, isn't the most attractive of materials, but it does have many uses. So is it possible to make it more attractive? This is currently being investigated under the Laser Coke project in a collaborative research effort consisting of eight academic research and commercial organisations and part financed by the Technology Strategy Board. The project is developing ways to add value to this most versatile of substances by improving its appearance using an innovative laser process. I'm Ken Young and I'm the principal investigator on the laser coat project. The project is basically taking a fairly low value product, MDF, which we've all heard about on you know, various TV programs, and trying to make it uh, look more like real wood. There's a number of ways in which we can do that. One is by etching away the surface to give it a grained appearance, which we then coat, or the other one is actually using an additive process where we're using a powder coat and selectively curing that using lasers. Here we've got a couple of uh, examples of it. Th this one is one where we've taken a melamine coated chipboard and actually etched away the surface to give us this distressed, you know, old, uh, you know, white wood uh, finish. This one here, which you can see has our uh, laser coat emblem on it, is actually been powder coated with the yellow, then powder coated again with black over the top of it after that's been partially cured. We then selectively cure the black before clearing the cured black off. And you see you get quite a high definition uh, image on it. We've then got some other uh, samples. Again, these are uh, just uh, different examples of wood patterns where we've, uh, on this one, engraved it and then spray coated it to uh, you know, give a primed finish. And we've got some other uh, wood grains, this one an oak grain, where uh, you know, that's just been uh, etched away. And we can uh, do the whole thing additively. Here again, it's uh, a brown uh, powder coat, fully cured, then a, a second layer of brown, which is uh, partially cured using the lasers. And again, we've got other samples here. That's a, our uh, Warwick Manufacturing Group uh, logo. And we've got this one here, which shows that we can actually do exactly the same process, not just on a two-dimensional sample, but on a three-dimensional uh, glazing bead. This is the etching process. Um, in this case, we uh, have a piece of MDF, and we guide the laser beam over the surface under a computer control, and it selectively etches away um, the MDF by burning it. We can do it as positive or negative. In this case, we've got a uh, positive image, and we can also have a negative image where we invert it and t take away the outside of the material. The powder coat process is more involved to the laser etching. It takes a number of processes of spraying and curing. First of all, we start off with a background. This is post-cured in an oven box. Then we go on to uh, recoat the, the background with uh, a contrasting color. This is then laser consolidated, and then we post-cure this uh, again in the oven box, and it produces um, a nice contrasting mark. My name is Michael Turner. I'm a factory manager for Howarth Timber Windows and Doors. We are one of the UK's leading manufacturers of softwood timber windows and doors for the new build market. We became involved with this at a very early stage. We're one of several manufacturers who are involved in this process. We decided that there was a an opportunity here that we needed to be involved in very early on and we have been involved in it. The MDF market in the UK in particular is, is very large, it's grown all the time, the technology is moving forward. From our perspective as a company, it's uh, very large in terms of panel products and uh, decorative bars on our, our windows and doors. We have alternatives that can make the MDF look more like timber, which are foil coatings and papers, but again these are additional processes, they risk damage with this a project, you're applying the panetation directly onto the timber and it can match the timber species. So, uh, it, and then we can overpaint it, so it gives us great scope, it's easy in the manufacturing process and it looks good when it's out in the marketplace and it performs. This has a big future, uh, an excellent future, it depends on how well the panetation process uh, turns out, but from what we've seen, this has really got a fantastic future.